Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and you just listened to a Lathershell piano. So this piano measures five foot five inches from the very front to the very back, which is actually a really weird size for a baby grand piano. Usually baby grands are about five foot, five foot one, five foot two, maybe five foot three, and then they jump to parlor, which is about five seven, five eight, five nine, five ten. We rarely see them in the middle in this five foot four, five foot five, five foot six era or size, but that's what this one is. Now, most of you are gonna go, what the heck is a Lather Shell? Uh, that's because Lather Shell was not a very popular brand because it really wasn't a piano. This was a Dung, May, Dung Bay made piano, just like Hallett Davis, Ridgewood, Vienna, Nordiska. These are all the exact same pianos as this piano is right here. This one just says Lather Shell on the, on the front of it. And that's really, really common in our industry. We call them stencil brands. And pretty much anything in the used piano world that's Asian, that's not like an older Baldwin or Chickering or Kanabi or something, most of that Asian stuff that's gonna be below 8,000 bucks is probably gonna be a stencil brand. And that's what this one is. When I was about 23 years old, I was a piano technician and I was training, I was about four years into my career and I was working with another technician, training with another technician and he used to sell these pianos. So the way that this company sold these pianos in the past was not through piano stores like this. They got piano technicians to sell them. So a piano technician would go into somebody's house, tune their piano and say, hey, your piano sucks. You should buy a piano from me. They'd sell them a lot their shell. And so that was my experience with these, but that's why there's not a ton of them out there. So what we used to do with this old, the older guy I used to work with is he would order these things, they'd come in and we'd have to do what's called box prep. So we'd bring them to his workshop. We'd do all the box prep there, which is basically just tuning five times, regulating all the voicing, leveling strings, all that, and then we ship it out to the customer, go to the customer's house, tune it and everything too. So as you can imagine, for piano technicians to do that all by themselves, they didn't do a lot of them, so there's not a ton of these out here. Um, and there was only one guy in Phoenix that I know of that was doing it, and that was the guy that I was working with. But they were great pianos, and a lot of times we like to sell these Dung Bay pianos, like I said, Hallett Davis, Ridgewood, Vienna, because they these Dung Bay pianos really replicate um, Japanese pianos. So if you come in looking for a Yamaha or Kawai or something like that, usually you're coming in and you want that because you want that light action, more um, uh, bright tone. Most of these Dungbei pianos had that. So this is a great way to save money if you're looking for a Japanese piano. The finish is flawless. We buffed out everything. I haven't seen any damage on this thing. Definitely an A rating. Guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, oh yeah, and also this does have a slow fall, fall board. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.